everyone. My name is Barry. I work with engineering here at Molly Motorsports. Today we're going to go over some of our piston alloys um, and how to choose pistons next time you're building your engine. The two alloys we're going through are going to be the 2618 and the 4032. We're going to talk about the features and benefits of each alloy and also some of the applications that we recommend for those alloys. Um, in the end, we're going to go through our application guide a little bit. We're going to show you where to find these alloys, how we list them in our catalog, and also uh, the clearances and what all you need to look at whenever you're building your next engine. We're going to start with our 2618 alloy. 2618 is a low silicone content alloy, which means that it has a higher expansion rate when compared to other piston alloys. What this lower silicone does is allows a better resistance to um, fracture or any kind of harsh conditions that are caused by abnormal combustion events, um, which come from you know being running your engine engine lean, uh, running it super hard in a long endurance race, or running a high high boost or high nitrous content in your engine. Twenty six. 18 alloy can be found in uh, common applications such as uh, high boost, high nitrous, extreme drag racing, um, something kind of like this, like our Power Pack Plus option. It can also be found in endurance racing or land speed racing where an engine is going to go through very harsh conditions or the tune is going to be uh, very extreme. Um, 2618 is a great alloy for someone who is not as concerned with noise as when you when you have the 2618 alloy the lower silicone content will make you run a higher or larger piston to wall clearance this is what will cause what some call piston slap um, at cold start once the engine warms up this will go away but it is uh it's slightly louder noise wise than you know a normal 4032 or a normal uh, cast piston Switching gears, we're going to go to a 4032 alloy. 4032 is a higher silicone content. This gives it less thermal expansion um, once the part warms up. The smaller thermal expansion means you can run a tighter piston to wall clearance. This goes back to the noise as we were discussing with the 2618. A tighter piston to wall clearance will make the engine uh, or the part quieter, which makes the engine quieter and it will also allow for a, uh, a much more OE style uh, piston to wall clearance. Some typical applications that we will uh, recommend the use of 4032 are going to be a, uh, a street rod or show car that someone is, is wanting, um, wanting a high performance engine, but they're not going to the track every single day. Um, 4032 is great performance. We have guys that are doing thousand horsepower, um, and really enjoying 4032 alloy, a lot of it is in the tune. Um, 2618 is a lot more forgiving, whereas 4032, you can run that high horsepower level, but it is uh, less <clears throat> acceptable to abnormal combustion events. So we generally recommend it for you know, a, a moderate boost, moderate nitrous, very, uh, you know, a very reserved tune. Um, or somebody who's just wanting a, a good, strong, you know, uh, driving engine that they can drive around the street um, and maybe go to a couple track days every now and then. It's perfect for that. has great low noise and uh, offers a really good part for someone who's building just a nice performance engine. Okay, we've discussed the alloys and some of their features and benefits. Uh, let's talk about when it's time to purchase your pistons, what, what to look at in our catalog and how to kind of go about that process. Um, our application guide is available on mollymotorsport.com and you can go there to look at all of our listings. But once you look at these listings, you'll see that there is actually an alloy column. You can go through there and see for each application what alloy we listed. Many of them we have them dual listed. We have 4032 or 2618 available. Um, when you see that and off to the right, you'll notice the clearance guide for each alloy we offer or we recommend different clearances for each alloy. So in our application guide it lists what that clearance should be and also where to measure it on the piston skirt. Um, so when it has the alloy outside it has the measurement of the clearance guide, that measurement is from the bottom of the skirt going upwards and then out beside that you'll have a minimum and a maximum. So that way when you go through and you're referencing what, <clears throat> what your bore should be 
and what the piston should be whenever you're assembling your engine, you can go through and double check and make sure everything is good to go. That's all for today's uh, video. We really hope that you got some knowledge from, from this video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call. We have a great staff that's very willing to answer any of your questions. Uh, thank you for choosing to watch the Molly Motorsports YouTube channel. Thank you.